Do you suffer from scapular winging? Can't figure out how to fix it? Watch this. Next caller is Nathan from Iowa. What's up, Nathan? How can we help you? Oh, not too much. Uh, I just want to, you know, start by, uh, I appreciate uh, being able to hear people talk about uh, fitness and just bullshit with each other. Uh, I don't get a chance to do that too often, so it's nice to be able to hear that. Plus, you know, a lot of the stuff you guys talk about has helped me kind of reframe how I approach programming because I work with a lot of people who have a whole bunch of issues. So it helps um, having a different mindset than just uh, kind of what you learn in school and through the certifications and stuff like that. So I really appreciate it. And uh, yeah, thank you. I also want to say, uh, Adam, I appreciated uh, the story you were saying on uh, the Christmas Eve uh, podcast when you're talking about how uh, you can't ever find anything and you think your your wife moves it around or puts it in a crazy yeah. place because it happens to me all the time and I thought I was uh, going crazy. Oh, so you're it's, not alone, it's dude. Not, <laughs> you evolve. I'm not the hey, only one. We evolve yeah. from hunters. That's that's it. that's my excuse. <laughs> Sorry, honey, I'm a hunter. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> Always an explanation. Yeah, well, I'll give that a shot. We'll see if it works. We'll see if it <laughs> no, works. No, no, no. Don't tell her that. Don't tell her that. <laughs> That's just between us, okay? Awesome, man. Let's, right. let's hear it. What do you got going on? So, um, like, I think the biggest issue I'm dealing with right now is I really want to get into strength training because it's not something I've ever really focused on too much because I hurt myself a few years back and uh, it was kind of bad. And so it's always been kind of in the back of my mind. So I've been keeping it light. But then I decided, you know, I got to get over that. I got to start strength training. But I noticed that my serratus interior, like I can't get it to activate. And it's causing like pretty bad scapular winging. So I don't want to start strength training or anything like that. So I definitely get that that fixed. And I don't know. I've tried a whole bunch of stuff. I even went and got a certification in corrective exercise. But uh, still haven't been able to figure out what I'm doing wrong. Mm -mm. Do you, is it both sides or is it just one side? No, it's both sides. Yeah. Okay. No, no previous injury. There's nothing like a, like a nerve issue or anything like that. Right. No. And then when do you get the winging? Is it when you do things like push ups or, or presses? Uh, I noticed it mainly during presses cause I didn't feel it before. And I just happened, I was doing some, some cable presses and I glanced in the mirror and then I was like, Holy shit. <laughs> yeah, like how far they were they were sticking out, and yeah, so I've been trying to fix it since. But yeah, this you know I'm I'm gonna be honest with you, Nathan. I I've had a few this, this I've had a few this difficult one. This is one of the harder things to correct. It sounds silly, but it's true, and it's because getting the scapula to do what you want. People are so it's like teaching a front lat spread, you know, a bodybuilder pose to someone who's never done it before. It's a weird thing to do to get your to, to get your scapula to go from winging to to spreading out, which is kind of what you wanted to do. There's a couple exercises that I've seen that work pretty well for this. There's a scapular push-up you could do, and you might want to do this elevated or even on a wall where you, mm -hmm. you have your arms extended. You allow your shoulder blades to come together, and then your goal is to push your body away. Your arms are straight the whole time, right? Yeah, exactly, without bending your elbow. Yeah, so without bending your elbow. And what you're doing is you're bringing the shoulders forward and bringing everything forward and then letting them pinch back. That might help you activate. Then you can also try like dumbbell pullovers or straight arm pull downs. Now it's not directly working the serratus, but it will help stabilize. Um, so you could try that as well. And those are the two movements that I've had the best success with. I would, with I would, people. I would prime that with handcuff with rotation first. So I would do handcuff with rotation, and then I would go into that into those movements. I think would be an ideal way to get him into that. One of the hardest things to teach mm -hmm. the um, I don't even know what you call the the push up where you what you're talking about. Is it the push up plus? Yeah, what's what Sal is talking about? I don't know what what is it? What do we name? It's it? it's it's a scapular push up. Yeah, so you you just, arms are just extended. And you're yeah, just, and yeah. it's it, I you're think it, if away. someone hasn't got connected to be able yeah. to articulate that as a harder move. So I love handcuff with rotation yeah. first. To get to get, I was going to say something similar, uh, and it was more around like uh, scapular circles, and you know, doing like more of a kin stretch with that. So trying to really intensify like isometric contraction while you know taking it through the full range of motions. So elevating it, depressing it, you know, and, and protracting it, retracting it, and just doing those circles, uh, nice and slow and cadence, and really squeezing 
uh, you know, intensively uh, to be able to really try to get some neuromuscular connection. Yeah. So, you know, the challenge, so my, the best success I ever had was with uh, focusing on movement and not the muscle, which is different than what I would do with other corrective yeah, right. uh, issues. So when you're doing the scapular push up, start with the wall. Okay. Don't do it on the floor. Start with your hands on the wall and your, your, your feet are out away from you. So you're kind of leaning up against the wall a little bit with your arms straight. And then with your arms totally straight, see how far you could push your back away from the wall, your mid back, like you're rounding and pushing forward as far as you can. And then bring your body close as you can to the wall with your arms totally straight. That was the best success I had with getting people to connect to the movement. When I tried to get people to really focus on the shoulder blade and the surround, I was like, did not work. It just, cause it's such a weird muscle. We dip, we definitely don't connect to it like we would with other muscles. So that that was the best thing that I ever yeah. ever what's, gotten. What's Do you your have Prime Pro? Yeah, he does. He does. You have you, yeah. you said you had Prime Pro, Nathan. Yeah, and uh, the regular Prime. Are you are have you done the handcuff with rotation? No, not oh. yet. I've been doing like the the wall circles and like the mm -hmm. prone cobra. I'm pulling the okay. shoulder blade. You got it. Down. You got to do handcuff with rotation. Do that. Do that. In fact, I would spend a lot of my time doing that even before after working out. I'm talking about just, you know, watching TV, hop down, do that movement. I think that's uh, I think that personally, that's one of the things that will benefit you the most. And then I would go into what Sal is saying. So I would start with handcuff with rotation and then I would go into the movement that Sal is talking about, whether you do it off the wall or uh, off the floor. Uh, Nathan, what's your what's your day look like, like at work and stuff like that? Are you in a, a seated position all day long, or what's what do you got going on? Or it varies. Typically, I'm on my feet. Okay. Yeah. You know, the challenge is that you can do a lot of movements without protracting the scapula. So, because you're not looking, the issue isn't retracting the scapula. The issue is protracting it, and the issue is maybe even elevating it. So we want to do movements that force you to do protracting and elevating. Mm -hmm. And you know, handcuff for the rotations might do it, but you might be able to go through, and it wouldn't look good, but you might be able to go through the motion with a wing scapula. You couldn't do it. Here, here's another movement, Nathan. Try this. Try holding an, a barbell or dumbbells overhead, so completely overhead, arm straight, and then You're shrug your shoulders, your shoulders, and then shrug your shoulders, and then let them come down, and then shrug your shoulders, and then let them come down. Like... You want to do movements that force that position or that movement, and and stop focusing so much on connecting because the serratus is a is a it's one of those strange muscles that even if you connected to you wouldn't necessarily notice unless you had a really really good well developed uh, serratus. But like I said with the with the wall push up, the wall scapula press, you're literally just you're extending your arm you're just you're trying to get your upper mid back away from the wall as far as you possibly can, and then you're allowing and then you're trying to bring your chest. To the wall as much as you can while maintaining straight arms. Does, does that make sense the way I'm explaining it? Yeah, yeah, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, All right. I can picture it in my mind. Yeah, give that a shot and and you know see how everything feels. Notice if see if there's a difference between the shoulders. Oh yeah, definitely. Because like something I've tried before is similar to what you're talking about, but instead of like shrugging up, I just like hold it and do like a isometric hold there, trying to get it to to activate and. It's hit and miss sometimes. Yeah, forget trying to feel it and activate it. Just focus on the 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 mo the movement that you're trying to get first. Then you'll start to connect to it afterwards. And uh, should I wait till it's like completely, you know, like I don't have scapular winging before moving into like strength training, or is there not necessarily? No. You just you would if you are going to strength train, you would you would really focus on what Sal said is the movement. Don't get caught up in weight and reps and trying to really yeah. load like you are trying to make the movement like you you mentioned seeing yourself the reflection in the mirror and seeing you winging so bad it, whatever that weight was you were doing i would cut it in half at that moment and then you, really try and get you to get into good posture while you you do know it. i re, i'm just remembering right now i literally mm -hmm. had a client years ago this was the most frustrating thing ever mm -hmm. and i could not figure out how to get her to get protractor so you know what i finally did nathan is I had her sit on a row machine. So her chest was supported by the pad. She's holding the handles like she's going to do a row. We did a row. So we were able to, to, to squeeze the shoulder blades back. Then I let I told her, I said, let the handles pull you as far forward as you possibly can. And so what happened is it pulled her forward. She rounded her back. Her shoulders came forward. And then I said, now hold that position. I'm going to take the handles from you. I took the handles, and then she was in that position. And I said, okay, now what I want you to do, and I, I had her put her palms out, is I pushed on her hands and had her resist and hold that position. I literally had to have weight force her in that position before having her activate. Does that does that make sense? 
Yeah, yeah. Okay. There you go. You, another thing you can try. So there you go. Yeah. Thanks for calling in. Thank you. No problem. I tell you what, dude. When it oh, comes man. to correctional exercise, one of the hardest, difficult. One. This was a nemesis. You don't. You, so you don't like handcuff with rotation in this situation. I, you know why? Because I literally worked with a lady who she had nerve damage that oh. she was repair coming mm-hmm. from. Yeah. And I actually worked with a physical therapist, and we did all kinds of shit. And you would be surprised how much stuff you could do. Yeah. With a winging scapula. Oh yeah. yeah. And finally, you can compensate like crazy. And finally, literally, what I said is what I did. I had her hold on, and it, it pulled yeah. her shoulders because I could not get her to protract. Then I had the weight pull her forward. Yeah. And I said, all right, let go of the weight. And then she held that position. So and protracting is the hardest. That it's yeah. that it's like spreading the wings, right? I, that, I, I love the seat. And I didn't even know how we would explain that to him. I, you did the best I think we can yeah. because that is a movement I love to do with this person too, is get in the seated row position and just practice the almost like the lap pose, like you yes. were saying. Yeah. And you but that's uh, boy, that's hard to Tell someone so and get hard. them to do it, but if I was there it's with them, strange. Like I'm just thinking of like a medicine ball or something, like hugging and like yeah. squeezing it. And and really, the idea is like obviously, if you're if you're holding a weight that's pulling you forward or hugging something, the resistance is is where you're trying to pull back. Yeah, we need to give them resistance to pull forward, but sometimes they can't get in that position, so it's like assisted. Yeah, I even I even I even put my hands on this woman's shoulder blades and push them forward. To get her to get into that position, and then I just told her to hold it. You know how hard it was just for her to hold it. Yeah, it was like a six month process, but we finally got it to work. So whenever I hear this, I'm like, I get chills. I'm like, oh, this is my nemesis. <laughs> oh, man. This is my nemesis. Here it is. Hey, if you enjoyed that clip, you can find the full episode here, or you can find other clips over here. And be sure to subscribe.